threatening to turn the water off for hundreds of residents if their landlord doesn't pay up. Heritage Management Company owes the county hundreds of thousands of dollars in back sewer and water bills, not to mention hundreds of thousands in back taxes. Nine News reporter Jay Warren is live in the newsroom tonight with reaction from the residents and an explanation from the company. Jay? Well, that's right, Carol. Heritage Management owes close to $100,000 for back sewer and water bills for three mobile home parks. Eastgate Village, Green Acres, and Lake Remington, not to mention $370,000 in back taxes for two of those parks. Claremont County is set to hand out water cancellation notices to the hundreds of residents at three mobile home parks, all because the water and sewer bills have gone unpaid. Eastgate Village in Amelia is one of them. There, we spoke to residents like Tracy Allen tonight who are anxious about what's going to happen. You'd think they'd told us about this, you know, where we could prepare, what we're going to do with our families. Heritage Management Group owns Eastgate Village and owes the county more than $24,000 for that park alone. Little people like myself that's just trying to make a living and yeah. get along with our lives, we can't get things done because people above us that are making the big money are putting it in their pocket and we may end up without water. Robert Griffin, the vice president of operations for Heritage Management, blames the situation on the economy. Like every other American-based company, we're struggling and we're making it come back slowly but surely, but uh, you know, it's not been easy. So uh, as our economy starts to get better and apartments are renting and mobile homes are starting to rent and move, uh, we're starting to do better now. But it was last year at this time that Heritage Management had similar troubles. Residents of the Compton Hills Mobile Home Park in Colerain received shutoff notices again because of back utility payments. We had issues at Compton Hills Mobile Home Park and since then have cleared those up. Uh, and again, this economy, it's not been the last month or two months. The economy has been dreadful for, for a couple years now, several years. Dreadful economy or not, residents we spoke to think it's ironic that a company that is late on its bills to the county sings a different tune when a tenant is late on their rent. If you're a couple days late, what happens? They put a notice on the door, and within two days after that, they expect you to be gone. They expect you to have all your things out. Now, Heritage Management says nine times out of ten, they'll work with a tenant who's going to be late on rent. In the meantime, they say they'll have their utility bills paid by a negotiation.